Hi everyone, um, just want to do a quick video to say well done to get to this point. You've got two papers down and one more to go. Um, so, and I also thought that there are a few quick uh, tips or hints that I wanted to share with you having just seen some of the past papers as well. So number one, uh, one thing that is tricky with paper three is that they could give you some scenarios that you've never seen before and then test you on them and lots of people panic at that point. So first thing is I want to go into the exam expecting to see those things and do not panic because a lot of those questions would be asking you to compare or find similarities and differences between that weird thing to something you already know. So for example, they could give you a circulatory system of this weird animal and it's got a picture of it. And then they would say, okay, what's the similarity between that and the circulatory system we have in humans, which is a double closed circulatory system. So you just got to look for the difference between those two or similarities. And that's it. And there's nothing new in that one. They will not expect you to have learned that animal that you've never heard of before in your life. Just think about what you know currently and then look for similarities and differences. Secondly, a lot of times you can probably find um, uh, there are lots of practical or like uh, graph questions where they give you a graph and then ask you to describe the trend or draw a conclusion from the information provided. Those are the really nice questions because they don't necessarily need you to have detailed knowledge on the biology of it. You just have to look at the graph and describe the trend as X increases, Y increases as well, or something along those lines. So those are the really nice questions for you to pick up those extra marks. Third thing is about evaluation questions. So a lot of paper three, they will probably give you a technique or a method for an experiment and ask you to evaluate it and say, how can you improve it? So look at the question, the command word. If it says evaluate, it means you have to say what's good about it and what's bad about it. Okay, and let's say it's a three mark question, then you have to do at least one pro and at least one con, and it's just throw in one, either one pro or one con, you'll get three marks. Uh, if it's asking you to describe and explain how to improve an experiment, you'll get, usually most of the time, you get one mark for the description of it, so what you're actually going to change, and one mark for the explanation for it. So make sure you follow the um, command words and do exactly as it says. And again, using all of your practical skills and understanding of how do you make sure you've got reliable results or repeatable results or accurate or valid results. So it's all about like control variables and, and, and other stuff. Make sure you use all of that knowledge in your answer. So those are the three things and uh, best of luck tomorrow and let me know how it goes.